Hi children, welcome to a new section. In this video, we will learn multiplication of fractions. Multiplication of fractions we already learned, is it? So just recall it one more time. Multiplication of fraction by a whole number. What is the first topic we have to learn in this lesson? Multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. So if you want to multiply a fraction with a whole number, what is the first question? 3 into 1 by 5. What is the meaning of 3 into 1 by 5? It means that addition of 3 figures each representing one shaded part out of 5 equal parts. Okay, we already learned is it? What is the meaning of 3 into 1 by 5? Addition of 3 figures each representing one shaded part out of 5 equal parts. Now how will we do the multiplication? So if you want to multiply a fraction with the whole number, first you multiply the numerator and write the denominators as same. So here 3 in numerator means what the top number is known as numerator is it? So multiply the numerator 3 into 1 what is the answer? 3 and write the same denominator. Understood? What is the first step? Multiply the numerator and write the same denominator. If, if there is a confusion, just think that if there is no denominator, I already told you what is the denominator 1. So, 1 into 5, what is the answer? 5 itself. So, what is the rule for multiplying a fraction by a whole number? Multiply the numerator and write the same denominator. Now, look at this question. 5 into 4, what is the answer? 20 by Write the same denominator 3. Clear? Multiply the numerator and write the same denominator if you want to multiply a fraction with a whole number. Okay. What is the rule? Multiply the numerator and write the same denominator. Clear? Now the next one. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction. If you want to multiply two fractions, multiply the numerator, multiply the denominator. That means we have tried the product of the numerator and we have tried the product of the denominator. 2 into 3, what is the answer? 6. 3 into 4, what is the answer? 12. And one more thing, if, if it is a proper fraction, proper fraction means what? Numerator is less than the denominator. If the answer is a proper fraction, try to convert it into lowest term. Try to write the lowest term of the fraction. How will we write the lowest term? We have to find the HCF that we already learned, is it? Find the HCF of the numerator and denominator and do the division. How will we do the HCF? This we learned in your class 5 and 6, is it? So, do the HCF that means 6 is equal to 2 into 3, 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 and form a group, common number grouping. So, what is HCF here? HCF that means 2 into 3. What is the answer? Take one number from one group. What is the answer? 6. What is the answer you got here? What is the answer you got? 6. So, my dear children, if you are multiplying a fraction, if you are doing the addition, whatever it is, if it is a proper fraction, try to write the lowest term of the fraction. And if it is an improper fraction, you do the division and write the mixed number. So, what is HCF we got here? 6. So, divide the numerator and denominator by 6. What is the answer you got? 6 divided by 6, 1. 12 divided by 6, what is the answer? 2. Always you write, express the fraction in the lowest term. Okay. So, if you want to multiply a fraction by a fraction, what is the rule? Multiply the numerator, multiply the denominator and if the answer is a proper fraction, find out the HCF and do the division with the HCF and you will get the lowest term of the fraction. Now, what is the rule? Product of two fractions is equal to product of numerators divided by product of denominators. Rule is clear, if you want to multiply two fractions, multiply the numerator, multiply the denominator. Now, the next one, look at this question. We have to multiply these two fractions. What is the rule? Multiply the numerator. 5 into 7, what is the answer? 35 and 11 into 9, what is the answer? 99. Okay, so try to write the lowest term of the fraction, 35. It is a multiple of 5, 7 will get 99, 3, 33, 3, 11. 
if there is no common number what is its cf if there is no common number what is its cf we already learned so we did the prime factorization of 35 and we did the prime factorization of 99 and how will we write 35 is equal to 5 into 7 99 is equal to 3 into 3 into 11 and look at here there is no common number here if there is no common number what is its cf its cf is 1 if there is no common number common factor what is its cf 1 so answer is this itself okay what is answer 35 by 99 now 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 multiply the numerator 1 into 1 what is answer 1 by 3 into 2 what is answer 6 what is answer 1 by 6 So I think the uh, multiplication of fraction by a fraction is clear for everyone. Multiply the numerator, multiply the denominator. Now, multiplication of a mixed fraction by a whole number. If the question, if you want to multiply a mixed fraction with a whole number, if there is a mixed fraction, a question, what is the first step? You have to convert that mixed fraction into improper fraction. So how will we convert this mixed number into improper fraction? Multiply it. Five into three, fifteen. Fifteen plus two, seventeen. Seventeen by five into four. So we got a question as multiplication of fraction by a whole number that we already learned. How will we find the answer? Multiply the numerator and write the same denominator. Seventeen into four. What is answer? Seventeen into four. What is answer? Sixty-eight. So sixty-eight divided by same numerator denominator 68 by 5 so it's an improper fraction if it is uh, if you want to convert you can convert them into improper uh, mixed number now here 5 into 5 into 1 1 by 3 5 into 1 1 by 3 this is a mixed fraction if there is a mixed fraction in your question you have to convert it into improper fraction how will we convert 3 into 1 what is the answer 3 3 plus 1 4 4 by 3 now you got a question M multiplication of fraction by a whole number so multiply the numerator 5 into 4 what is the answer 20 by write the same denominator okay so if there is mixed number in your question listen children if there is mixed number in your question first you convert that mixed number first you convert that mixed number into fraction improper fraction then only you do the multiplication look at the second question this is a mixed number we converted this mixed number into improper fraction then only we did the multiplication if the answer is an improper fraction you can convert them into mixed number what is the 63s are 18 2 will get what is the formula quotient remainder by divisor we already learned the conversion of improper fraction into mixed fraction and mixed fraction into improper fraction so if the answer is an improper fraction convert them into mixed number 6 2 by 3 what is the formula quotient remainder by divisor what is the formula quotient remainder by divisor so what is the answer 6 2 by 3 these two questions are clear for everyone now move to the next part fraction as an operator when a fraction is used with the op word of it acts as an operator we already studied four different operations are there in maths is it of represents what of represents multiplication of represents multiplication now look at this question 1 by 2 of 16 we already learned of represents what multiplication so instead of of you put the simple multiplication okay of represents multiplication so 1 by 2 of 16 multiplication of fraction by a whole number so what is the rule multiply the numerator 1 into 16 what is the answer 16 write the same denominator and we know that 16 divided by 2 what is the answer 8 16 divided by 2 is 8 clear if it is divisible you write the quotient if it is not divisible you write the mixed number okay now next question 1 by 4 of 28 1 by 4 of means what of means multiplication 1 by 4 of 28 okay so multiply the numerator 1 into 28 what is answer 28 
and there is no denominator here so write the same denominator 4 what is the answer 28 divided by 4 7 28 divided by 4 is 7 hope this three different parts are clear for everyone we will do exercise questions so it will be more clear for you thank you children